Hello there, I'm Kaya Alka and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be answering your most frequently asked questions about the arts and design track. I know what you're thinking, Kaya, you're already a college student, why are you still making a video about senior high school? First, this is my last and final video about senior high school, and second, I'm just trying to help. I know most of my subscribers came from my video about the arts and design track, and there were a lot of questions and clarifications about the track, so I made this video for you for me to answer those questions and clarifications, give you some advice and some tips to help you out when you enter senior high school. The first question is, I really want to take up arts and design, but I'm not really good with drawing or painting. Is that okay? Will I survive? Well, before I answer your question, let me ask you first. Do you practice and draw during your free time? Do you find time for yourself to learn either through watching videos or reading articles or books? If your answer is no, then I suggest that you make it a habit that you try to learn or practice whenever you have free time. You're not confident with your skills, but you really want to take up arts and design. What is the solution? What is the answer? Practice. That's it. You should prepare yourself and practice so that when you enter senior high school, you are ready. Now, let's say that you always practice and you always find time to learn, but you're just not confident with your skills. You're scared that you're not ready or that you will not be able to keep up with your peers and with all the lessons, the plates, the projects. I definitely understand and that is a valid feeling and it is okay to feel that way. But don't let get into your head and feel discouraged. It is not a competition. You go there to enhance your skills, to learn from your classmates and your professors. Okay, second question. I'm not into drawing or painting. I'm more into photography, filmmaking, Performing and other fields of art is arts and design track the right strand for me If you look into the curriculum of the arts and design track It is more focused on the visual arts, but it also covers a little bit of photography filmmaking theater and other performing arts and Also other fields of art that is not necessarily into the visual arts category from my experience in USD our curriculum in the music arts and design track is aligned towards the programs that are being offered in college such as advertising arts painting, industrial design, interior design, and architecture. That is why they gave us a lot of projects and plates that is all about painting, drafting, and drawing. So I think it can depend on the school or the university that you're applying for, so make sure that you inquire in the admission office about their curriculum. But in a nutshell, the arts and design track covers the different mediums and fields of arts, so it is not only about painting and drawing. So if you already decided that you'll be taking up an art program in college and you can't find a specific strand that offers or that specializes in a certain art field that you really like, then I guess the best option for you is to take up arts and design. From what I know, there are schools that offer tracks that are specifically for media arts, animation, performing arts, and music. You can easily search them on Google or check out the DepEd website after watching this video. So the third question is, I want to take architecture and interior design. Is arts and design track the right track for me? For interior design, yep, I think the arts and design track is the right option for you because you'll be doing a lot of plates, which means you'll be drafting a lot, painting, drawing, and you'll be using a lot of digital softwares and a lot of traditional art as well. So I think the arts and design track will really help you build that foundation. For architecture, I think it really depends on you. If you're already confident with your drawing and design skills, but you're not that sure about your mathematics and science, then I guess you should take up STEM. On the other hand, you're already good with math and science, but you really want to level up your skills with arts and design. So, take up arts and design. But at the end of the day, it really depends on you. It's your choice, so think about it. The fourth question is, is there a math subject in this strand? I know we hate math, I hate math, you hate math, but yes, unfortunately, yes, there is still a math subject. Every strand has a math subject under the course subjects category, so regardless of your strand, you still need to take up math. So the fifth question is, are there a lot of job opportunities for those who take up arts and design? If we're talking about right after graduating senior high school, then yes, it is possible to work as a freelance artist right after graduating as a senior high school student but it is not as easy as it sounds. The most ideal option is to work as a freelance artist, but this will only work if you have the right connections, a very strong portfolio, and the access to equipment. If you're talking about job opportunities after graduating in college, then there are a lot, and it can be lucrative too. 
but I'm not saying that it will be easy. Just like any industries and fields out there, it can be very competitive. I can make a separate video about this topic because there are really a lot of factors that goes into the job opportunities that you get as an artist. So let me know if you want a video about the topic from my perspective as a student who works freelance and who takes commissions from time to time. So the last and final question is, is Arts in the Design track the right track for me? Well, guess what? The only person that can answer that question is you. Evaluate your interests and skills. So you consider art as a hobby or is it something that you're very passionate about and you want to have a career on it. Do you plan on taking up an art program in college and what are your long-term goals? At the end of the day, as I've said before, it really depends on you. I'm just here to give you some tips, some advice, but the decision is still yours. When it comes to college programs and college applications, it is important to know that for the most part, your senior high school strand doesn't really affect your applications and your choices of college programs. Even if you took arts and design in senior high school, you can still take college programs that are not related to art. Or maybe you're from the academic strand and you want to take up arts and college. Yes, it is still possible. You can still take architecture, advertising arts, industrial design, interior design, and other art programs in college. You can still take them. As long as you have good grades, you pass your entrance exam and your grades qualify for your chosen program, then you won't have any problem. So those are your most frequently asked questions about the arts and the science track. If you still have more questions, don't hesitate to leave them down below. But my tip for you is to Google them first because I'm sure Google can help you or check out the DepEd website. If those two doesn't help, check the university's website or your college website. If that doesn't help, inquire through their admission office. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to stay safe. Once again, I'm Khalil Alcala and I hope to see you on my next video. Bye!